Hello everyone. Today we'll be seeing how to calculate a generalized inverse of a matrix. So now as you all know, if a matrix is non-singular, then suppose we have a matrix which is a square matrix, suppose 3 cross 3 or n cross n for that matter, that is the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Now if we calculate Suppose this is A, if the determinant of A is equal to 0, then we say that A inverse does, doesn't exist. So now in that case, we will go to a generalized inverse and for a generalized inverse, it is not necessary that you have a square matrix. For example, if you have any rectangular matrix, say n cross p, where n is not equal to p. Suppose you have four columns and three rows. Now this is not a square matrix, but we can calculate a generalized inverse of this matrix as well. So what we have learned is generalized inverse is used in two cases where a square matrix does not have an inverse or we have a rectangular matrix, right? Let us look at an example and see how we can calculate the, the generalized inverse of a matrix. Okay, so for a square matrix A, let us consider a 3 cross 3 matrix, which is 3, 8, 1, minus 4, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 0. This is order of order 3 cross 3. First of all, let us calculate the determinant of A and see what that comes out to be. 3 into minus 1 minus 8 times now minus 8 is this row and column. Then we see minus 4, 0 and minus 1 plus 1 times this row, this column gets hidden. We get minus 4, minus 1. Okay, so we get the determinant as minus 3 plus 8 minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so now we've established that the determinant of A is equal to 0. Okay, so now the since the determinant of A is 0, this matrix A is a singular matrix and the inverse cannot be calculated. So now let us see how we can calculate the generalized inverse of this matrix A in four easy steps. So step one. Step one is to calculate the rank of A. Okay, and which is I'll tell you a really simple determinant method how you can calculate the rank of A. The highest order determinant in this matrix A for which the determinant is not equal to zero is known as the rank. So what do I mean by that is let me take a different color. So for a 3 cross 3 matrix, this, we calculated the determinant and we got it to be 0. So 3 is not the rank of A. Now let us check for a 2 cross 2 determinant. Let us take this determinant, this minor and calculate its determinant. We get it as 3 into 1 minus minus 4 into 8, which comes out to be 35. Now this is not equal to 0 since there exists a minor of order 2 cross 2 for which the determinant is non-zero we can say that the rank of A is equal to 2 in this case okay we could also have seen any other determinant any other minor say this or we could have chosen like this plus this but since we have got a determinant a minor for which the rank for which the determinant is not 0. So we can say that the rank is 2. Okay, so now what is what is step 2? Step 2 is that we choose a minor for which the determinant is not 0. Let us take the topmost, uh, let us take the topmost one, which is this one, 3, 8, minus 4, 1, and calculate. calculate M inverse transpose. Now what was our M? M is 3, 8, minus 4, 1, 
3, 8, minus 4, 1. We need to calculate M inverse transpose. And it is really easy to calculate the, uh, the inverse of this matrix. And we have seen that the determinant is not 0. So this inverse will exist. M inverse would be 1 by determinant of A, adjoint of A, which would be 1 here, 3 here, minus 8 here, and 4 here. Okay. So, then M inverse transpose will be equal to the transpose of this, which is 1 by 35 and then minus 8 by 35 comes down because rows becomes column and column become rows then we get a 4 by 35 and we get a 3 by 35 so we have calculated we have completed step 2 which was the most critical step calculate m inverse transpose now this m was in the top left position in a now what we need to do is put this M inverse transpose in the original position of A. So, step 3. Step 3. Put back M inverse transpose. So, what we get is, let us consider this matrix as B. Because A was 3 cross 3, let us draw a 3 cross 3 box. And put this M inverse transpose in the original position of A. 1 by 35, the top leftmost box, 4 by 35, minus 8 by 35, 3 by 35. And now, we are left with some of the positions and we need to fill that with 0. So what we did was, we put M inverse transpose in the original position from where we took the minor and in all the other positions, we have put zeros. Now, finally, step 4. The generalized inverse, one of the possible generalized inverse is B transpose. So, what will we get as a G? G is equal to the transpose of this whole matrix. 1 by 35, 4 by 35, 0 minus 8 by 35, 3 by 35, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, this is the G that we were required to calculate. So, this is one possible G inverse. And you may also check that it will satisfy the property of A, G, A is equal to A. Please note that this is one possible G inverse of this original matrix A. If we have if we had chosen a minor of order 2 cross 2, not from the top uh, top left hand corner, but any possible other minor, we would have gotten a different G inverse. Okay, and that would also be valid. That is why it is said that G inverses need not be unique. So let us quickly go through what were the four steps. Step 1 was calculate the rank of A using this determinant method. Then calculate, then choose a minor M. You can easily choose a minor M and I would suggest you that you would take a very simple minor like we have taken in this example. Then calculate M inverse transpose which is easy. Then calculate step 3. Uh, step 3 is putting that uh, M inverse transpose min transpose back into the place from where we took the minor. Then from there what we do? After step 3 we just need to do and uh, place all the other elements as 0 and finally the matrix that we get, we need to transpose it to get one of the possible G inverse. One possible G inverse. Okay, so let us do one more example. Because this was a 3 cross 3 uh, square matrix. Now we can take another matrix which is not, not a square matrix. Okay, so now uh, we can consider one more example. Suppose, okay, let's see this. If A is equal to easily 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, let us say G is a G inverse. So now, let us do that quickly. Because this is a square mat, this is not a square matrix. The only possible determinant could be a 2 cross 2 1. So it could be this or it could be this. So let us take the simplest one. Let us consider this one, 1, 2, 4 and 5. 
तो वी गेट m इज इक्वल टू वन टू फोर फाइव कैलकुलेट m इनवर्स ट्रांसपोज सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेटस कैलकुलेट m इनवर्स तो m इनवर्स वुड बी माइनस वन बाई थ्री फाइव माइनस टू माइनस फोर वन आई होप दैट यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इनवर्स ऑफ अ नॉन सिंगुलर मेट्रिक्स सो दिस बिकम्स टू बाई थ्री फोर बाई थ्री एंड माइनस वन बाय थ्री नाउ वी गेट एम इनवर्स ट्रांसपोज विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री टू बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री एंड माइनस वन बाय थ्री now the last step is to replace this m inverse dash with this red box okay let us write that matrix b matrix b is equal to minus 5 by 3 minus 4 by 3 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and replace all others with zero and now the final step g is equal to transpose of b which is equal to really simple minus 5 by 3 4 by 3 zero 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 zero which is you need to remember this this is a 3 cross 2 matrix and the original matrix that we had was a 2 cross 3 matrix so what we can see is the the dimensions get reversed obviously the dimensions have to be inversed because the property is aga is equal to a where a is what a is a 2 cross 3 matrix so answer should also be a 2 cross 3 matrix now and g is 3 cross 2 so what we get we get 2 cross 3 multiplied with 3 cross 2 and then again multiply with 2 cross 3 what we get is after this we'll get a 2 cross 3 matrix and From this we'll get a two cross three matrix again. Oh, sorry, I will get a two cross two matrix here. This comes here. This comes here. These have to be equal. Two cross two and two cross three. So we get a two cross three matrix back, which was A. Okay. So I hope you learned the, how to calculate a generalized inverse, where we calculate generalized inverse, and what is the use.